Good morning, everybody. Grab that cup of coffee. We have an update today on the shed solar system. Now, if you guys got a shed somewhere that needs some uh, electricity, I'm gonna give you. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we did here. Now, right now, you see this here. That right there is feeding. Is what used to feed my uh, solar my uh, shed out here. Just plug that right into there. Then I have to unplug it once sometimes if I needed to plug in here. But usually, see, I can plug in my RV uh, connection right there. That's what that is. Now that runs underground, runs all the way over here to my shed. I started thinking, I got I want to build a solar system there. So that's what we've done here. Now it runs over here, still runs over here, plugs into here, but it's not feeding anything. And uh, this is why. That comes in down here. Hold on a minute. Let me get a flashlight and show you a little better. Here we go. Now this system will run the lights in here, but there's none right pointed right down here. So we just put this light here. Okay. The, there's the old system down there, the orange thing. That's where the old uh, and still usable electric power came for the shed but what I've done is I just put an extension cord onto that plug that into there if I need to uh, use 30 amps of power for a saw or something I can just pull this out and plug the saw in there and I'm just hooked up to the house but uh, right here there is the system here that runs up all the way up to right there and that's the old system part of it but now we have the solar system right here she hooks into that so it still feeds through here but it's not coming uh, out of the house it's all sunlight and here's the system here we built let me shut the it's gonna be might be too bright hang hang on a minute let me see if I can adjust some light for you that may give a little better light uh, here's my solar panels coming in. Now uh, then, uh, I'll give you a cost rundown when I get done. The solar solar panels come in here, and they feed into that box right there. They come down, feed into here, feed up to this little bitty uh, cheap solar charger controller, charge controller, feeds into that, and that in turn, it goes through this breaker feeds down to the batteries right down through here and uh, I think I'm trying to get the light right for you guys because I'm shining it right towards the light anyway it feeds the batteries here and here then this battery is hooked up to this battery down here positive to positive and negative to negative then the juice from here the batteries are just clipped on by these little clips here to there and there wherever that is and then it goes back up here feeds this little cheap uh, uh, inexpensive I should say uh, inverter and it's also got a fuse in between it, a little breaker. So that feeds that, then it comes down here, you plug it in here, then that goes and feeds the whole house, which comes back up through here, like I said. It runs the lights, and it runs the... Uh, it has three cameras on it, and it has all these lights up here that uh, run on it also. I'll show you that. This is all solar right there that's all being ran right off the old solar right now uh, and we're putting in uh, we got 12.2 been running uh, 48 hours and that's the uh, juice we're pulling in there right now we're uh, let's see what we're putting into the battery there we go putting in 14.4 volts into the battery 
we're taking out 12.12 12 volts. So, uh, hello, Hank. Uh, works fine. Uh, I got breakers in everywhere just in case. I'll show you the solar panels out here. There's one there and one there. We got two of those. We got a little one up there that runs a little exhaust fan. Now, uh, let's give you a cost and rundown. I think them were about 50 or 60 bucks each. They are 100 watt. So we got 200 watt system. And they come in right through there. Still haven't plugged the hole over there with uh, foam, but I will. And then it comes in up through there and then feeds this. So we got those, they're 120 bucks. Uh, this little thing here was only like 10 bucks. This here was 27, 30 bucks. Between 25 and 30 bucks. I don't remember what the fuses were. The batteries I picked up off of uh, Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. Got them for $25 a piece. They've already got three to four hour years on them, but they're interstate batteries. Right there, that's what they are. And uh, the way I'm using them, I mean, I, I'm not feeding much. Feed, like I said, I'm only uh, feeding uh, three cameras, a set of lights, and my little uh, fella right up there. For, uh, for uh, entertainment. And then uh, the security system is hooked, is, it's battery powered. So we're all good there. But anyway, if you wanted to do this to your, uh, you needed a, you have a shed and you can't get electricity to it, there's the cost of it. So we got uh, 120, another 130, one, one, uh, 30 another another 30 say 160 plus wires and batteries for less than 200 bucks you got a nice little system here that you can you can run your lights on and cameras and stuff you're not going to run nothing heavy duty on in here on it i sure as heck ain't going to be running that uh but all i got to do is plug that into there plus I, out here what i've done is i took this out here and uh, I put this little trap door on it. So I can open that up, pull the extension cord right out through that hole, and I can I can run stuff out here because I what the one of the things I'm I'm hoping to be able to do is run my. Uh, Christmas lights off of it. We'll see. I don't know if I'll get enough light. It's been cloudy most of the day. And uh, after running all night, I came in here and it was just 11.9, uh, I think, overnight. Running everything. See, this fan is the exhaust fan. Anyway, there you go. Uh, you guys remember my bed frames? That's what that's made out of. Old bed frames. Cut them up. Made a little trough little trough for it. Boy, I hope you can see it all. Let me get this way. Maybe you can see it better. The light's not so bad. There you go. It's done. And it's working. I'll give you updates if anything goes down and bad. But, uh, I'm happy so far. It's free. Free lights. Uh, probably take a year to pay for itself. But then it'll just keep on ticking. I bet I get another four years out of those batteries. What do you guys think? Okay, subscribe guys. See y'all later. Bye.